Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely yellow gingham summer dress. I've been wearing it all summer and it's such an easy and lovely summer dress. I really love it. I drafted the pattern myself, which I will show you later, but you can pause the screen and see what I did here. So I had about two meters of this yellow gingham fabric and I have quite a lot of this yellow fabric as well. They're both cotton and um, the other one's for the lining. So I grabbed a dress that I really love and it had a deep well, like, kind of v-neck. Um, so I traced around the uh, dress with a seam allowance of I think one and a half centimeters. This particular dress was quite elastic so I stretched out the elastic before sketching it out as well. I also added a dart to uh, make sure that the dress fits nicely over the chest area and I usually make my darts about 15 centimeters long and about four centimeters wide. And I think you can just do this with either like a blouse you really like or uh, if you have another dress yourself that is like the style you want or like a top as well. You can really do this with anything as long as you account for if it's stretchy or not and if it is make it a little bit bigger. So then I also traced the back of the dress and I also cut this out as well. So I started with laying the pattern on top of the lining fabric and I'm going to be cutting it out. I'm cutting out the back pattern on the fold of the fabric and the front pattern I'm cutting double. So it's like a, you have two pieces of the front piece. And I chose to start on the lining fabric. So if I want to change something about the pattern of it or if it's not fitting quite right, it doesn't really matter because it's a lining fabric and I can just make it again as well. So I started with putting in the darts on the front pieces of the dress sewing these into place then I'm going to be sewing the two front pieces of the dress together at the front seam After that, we're attaching the front and the back pieces together by stitching them together at the shoulders. Do this with the right sides of the fabric facing each other. And last but not least, we're going to be sewing the side seams of the bodice together, so um, the back and the front pieces sewing them together on the side seams so then i tried on the bodice and i wanted the neckline to be just a little bit lower about two centimeters i cut this into the fabric and then i traced it onto the um, pattern as well and now that i'm happy with the way the bodice looks i'm gonna be uh, cutting out the pattern from the actual dress fabric again the back piece needs to be on the fold and I'm going to be cutting out the front pieces twice again then I started on the sleeves um, as you can see I have this uh, sleeve pattern it's from rosary apparel I think it's from the willow dress but any sleeve part pattern will do. I chose to go with a quite short sleeve, but I'm making it a little bit wider 
at the shoulder, so at the top of the curve, because I want the sleeve to pucker a bit at the shoulders. And you need two sleeves. Then I cut out some pockets. Um, I cut out two pocket pieces, um, again from the rosary apparel a pattern, which I will link down below as well. Then I started cutting out the first layer of the actual skirt. Um, I think the height is about uh, 35 centimeters, and I'm, I can't quite remember the width of the whole panel, but uh, it needs to be like um, the width of the back of your dress times one and a half. And then for the second layer of the skirt, I think the height was about 20 centimeters and the width of this one needs to be the width of the first layer times one and a half again. Then I sewed the actual uh, bodice together exactly in the same way as I did before. So you can just follow those same directions. Then I'm pinning together the lining and the actual dress right sides facing each other at the neck seam so all around the neck um, pinning them together and make sure that your front seam lines up as well as your shoulder seams and then we're going to be sewing them together which is a straight stitch and when you fold them inside out you have a very nice bodice with a lining So then I am folding the sleeves in half and I'm closing up the side seams of the sleeves with a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch. And then you basically made like a circle of a sleeve. Um, here I was figuring out how to actually attach the sleeve to the bodice. And you have to fold it inside out with the lining facing outwards and the, um, you pin the right sides of the sleeve and the bodice facing each other. I started at the armpit seam and uh, attached the armpit seam of the sleeve and the bodice together and then basically just pinned all the way around the sleeve and I had some fabric on the top of the sleeve which I just made some pleats with to make it a little bit puffier on the shoulders. And then we're going to be sewing them together with a straight stitch and then also a zigzag stitch. Then I'm going to be sewing together the first layer of the skirt on the side seams and I'm doing this with a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch and I'm only going to be attaching a pocket on one side of the dress so I'm doing this on the other side seam of the first panel I'm attaching the pockets Then folding the pockets outwards, laying them on top of each other uh, and closing up the side seam, sewing all the way around the pockets and down the side seam. I'm doing this with a straight stitch and then again a zigzag stitch. I'm going to be putting a basting stitch all along the top of the first layer. A basting stitch is basically a really big stitch length, so it's like four or five on my machine. And you don't back stitch at all with this one. And then we're gonna be gathering the first layer to fit all around the bodice. And I'm first lining up the side seams of the first layer with the side seams of the bodice. So it's all lining up and the gathering will be evenly uh, stretched out along the 
bodice as well and I'm going to be sewing them together with a straight stitch and then also again a zigzag stitch then I'm going to be sewing together all the uh, second panels of the dress it's going to be one long circle and I'm basically doing the exact same thing as before by lining up the side seams and then gathering them up to fit the first layer and then sewing them together with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch and then all that's left to do is doing a rolled hem on the sleeves and then also doing a rolled hem all along the bottom of the dress and that's it it's finished i really love this dress it's so versatile and easy for summer i've been wearing it for like three weeks straight and i really love it i even made it in another fabric as well um it's just really breezy and the cotton is also really nice to wear on hot days and it's just really cute i'm very happy with it i hope you enjoyed this video and i will hopefully see you again soon bye bye